Hi, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com on a Saturday night. Our last break of the night is going to be 2019 Panini Prism Draft Picks Football. This is two-box random pack break number 18 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to these folks right here, Mark, Stephen K., Arthur, Marlon, and William Clayton for getting into the action. We're going to generate, before we do the randomizer, we're going to generate two numbers. We're going to see which boxes we're going to do. Remember, we've got uh, numbered all those boxes. One down to seven, nine down to 16 right there. Let's generate a number, uh, box 11. We have not done box 11. So there it is right here. And we'll generate another number, box two. We have not done box two, that's up here. The old 211, which is, is that breaking and entering, the 211? I don't know my 11s. One through ten, packs numbered. Now your names randomized. How many times? Four times. One and a three. One, two, three, and a one. Four times. Mark down to Stephen K. And then one and a three, four times for the pack numbers. One, two, three, and a one. Four times. 10 down to 8. So Mark, you have 10. Arthur with 5. Marlon with 6. Mark with 7 and 2. Marlon with 3. Arthur with 4. William with 1 and 9. And Stephen K with 8. Remember, we do these alphabetically. So there's Arthur with 5 and 4. Arthur, it looks like you'll be dismissed from class early after you see what's in here. Or I guess you can wait and see what other stuff is in here too. Sorry, William Clayton. <laughs> Apologies. Yes, it is indeed the last break of the night. By the time we uh, we finish this box or this break, it'll be well past quitting time. All right. So, AP five and four. Good luck, man. Thanks for getting in. Guaranteed something. Let's see what it's gonna be. All right, got Mitchell Trubisky, camo. That's cool. That's the 25. And we have Jeffrey Simmons, Mississippi State University. A Mississippi State Bulldog.
Nice Trubisky too, that looks pretty cool. And the next auto is Josh Oliver from San Jose State University. I don't know what they are. San Jose State University Spartans? Oh, yeah, it's not maybe Spartans, right? Something to do with that time period. All right, IEP, there you go. You're done for the night. Class, you're dismissed from class. There's Will Comstock, who is a Mississippi State Bulldog. And he said Simmons was probably going to be a top 15 pick until he blew out his knee. Or maybe maybe a keeper for the future. Maybe sleeper pick. All right. Thanks, Arthur. Maybe San Jose State Trojans, Patrick Case thinking? My college knowledge is not super, super vast, so I'll, I'll defer to whatever you guys think. Mark F, 10, 7, and 2. 10, 7, and 2. No, that's 9. There's 10. 7. And 2. Oh, it is Spartans? USC is Trojans. That I do know. And behind Nick Chubb is Tyree Brady for Marshall. Buffalo? Bison? Isn't North Dakota State Bison as well? Or maybe they're the Bison? Just mixing up my mascots and green teams. There's Bo Jackson, and behind him, Thundering Herd for the Marshall. For the Marshall? C.J. Conrad, University of Kentucky. Those are Wildcats. I know that from the basketball. <laughs> All right, and your third pack, Mark. So we got third time's a charm. Big name, big name. There's Eric Dickerson, and behind old Eric Dickerson is Darius Slayton, Auburn. They're Tigers. Tigers have to be the most common name, common mascot name in, in college, right? What do you think, Will Comstock? <laughs> Will's like, I'm an encyclopedia of useless knowledge. What do you think? You think Tigers are the, are the most common school mascot name or Wildcat? Well, there seems to be a lot of Wildcats in college. Not too many Bulldogs, right? Mississippi State, Georgia Bulldogs. Is Georgetown, is that Hoya considered a, don't they have like a bulldog type mascot? This could help us win a pub quiz someday, ladies and gentlemen. This is why we do this. Marlin, Marlin, pack six and three. There's six. Oh, there's six. There's three. Good luck. No, not too many Bulldogs, right? So, yeah, Tigers has to be top three. 
Oh, right. Fresno State Bulldogs. Right, Derek Carr's alma mater. David Carr's alma mater. Both cars. Carr family. There's Travion Williams. That's numbered. That's to 99. And then behind Cam Newton is Terry McLaurin from the Ohio State University. Just one Buckeye. Rex is wondering, why are they always animals? Why not something like the condoms? I mean, it's pretty obvious, Rex. I don't, I don't think the kids are going to be like, yeah. <laughs> Go Doms. You know? No, I don't think that, that's not going to work. Go Doms. Here's Christian McCaffrey. Out of 49. Nice one, Stephen K. Yeah, there already is one. USC, Trojans, Rex. All right. Taylor Rapp. A Husky. And there is Run CMC for you as well, Marlon. Thank you. A Stanford Cardinal. Or a tree. I guess they have a tree dancing around, which is kind of weird. Cardinal is a color, so I suppose. You guys think there are more horse mascot, horse related mascots, Ty cat related mascots, or dog related mascots, or bird related mascots? What animal has the has has the, has the most? A bird, a cat, dog. There's got to be more. Maybe cats, some kind of cat, like a tiger or a wild cat, has to outnumber. Birds might be up there, though. There's Stephen K. with pack eight. Birds have got to be up there, though. Rex thinks cats. Some form of cat, like a lion, a tiger, a wildcat. There's a lot of those. I guess you're right. Maybe cats. Maybe the cat family has, has the market cornered on mascotting. Stephen K. also thinks cats. Definitely not dogs. There are a lot of horses though, right? Like horse type. But see, there's a lot of these kind of big cats right here. See, Mike the Tiger is there as well. LSU is another tiger. And there's Caden Smith from Stanford. Right. The cardinal color doesn't exactly strike fear in the poems, but like a redwood tree does? I suppose so. They are one of the oldest living things in, in the world. The mighty Sequoia. All right, well, there you go, Stephen K. You got a couple cats in there, though. There are a lot of bird teams, though. All right, so let's just say tree or shrub teams. No, horse teams, or horse and dog teams, not up there. You know, but I feel like the most common then have to be either cat or bird teams. <laughs> right, and the Gamecocks. There's only one cock in uh, in college sports, right? The Gamecocks, South, South Carolina. Ohio State Beavers, that's a good one. Not too many rodent teams out there. Beavers are rodents, right? Um, William Clayton, thanks for enduring all this. One and nine, you may have just fast-forwarded through this. One and nine for you. Right, game cocks, right. Yeah, you don't want you don't want two cocks in college sports, Arthur. 
Only only one game cock in the hen house. The South Carolina game cock. Badger's pretty cool. I like the Badger. All right, there's Johnny Dixon. Bucket list for Eric Bailey is to get a running start and spear tackle Brutus the Buckeye mascot. You're lowering your head in his chest on impact. That guy's a serial killer, I'm certain. Look at his dead, dead eyes. He's definitely a serial killer. Where's the auto? There's the auto, okay. Golden Gophers, the Gophers are a rodent team. Rodent team mojo, there's Paris Campbell. There's Brett Favre. Favre. And the autograph is Anthony Johnson, University at Buffalo. Buffalo! You think the, you think the South Carolina Gamecocks ever played the uh, Oregon State Beavers? Or 12. All right. There's Paris Campbell. All right. Stream is done. We got to get out of here before we get in trouble. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.